Hi, who in a great day, you're watching JG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm going to be giving you my Cobra Kai Season 5 spoiler review. Now, this spoiler review was originally going to be top 10 scenes from Season 5 of Cobra Kai, and then from there, it would have been kind of like my spoiler review. But because there's so much to talk about about Season 5, I decided to just make it a full-on spoiler review where I can talk about a bunch of different plot twists and things that I think would be uh, really interesting to talk about that wouldn't necessarily fit in a top 10 scenes category, but more as a free talk, just like talk about more about the season and everything. Because there's a lot, a lot of things that happen in the season that are a lot more than 10 things. So yeah, because there's a lot of things, I'm just going to get started with this video. So yeah, let's get started. And now I'm going to be starting with the positives. And the positives is, first of all, I'm going to start like at the, towards the start of the season. And that is that I really love the Mexico scenes. I, I, Mexico scenes, Mexico scenes, I swear to say it. But I really like the Mexico scenes. I thought they really worked in the first episodes. I thought the first one kind of dragged a little bit with Miguel's story in Mexico. I thought it was okay. But I really like how the, uh, Don, Johnny and uh, Robbie really bonded over the Mexico scenes in the first episode. I thought it was really funny whenever they fought the surfboards people and everything. That was really cool. Um, and then the second episode i thought the the mexico scenes really came together with johnny and robbie wanting even more over the chili competition and then like uh they were had the fbi shirts and everything and that was really cool um but especially miguel's father's story it really came very nicely together in episode two you know whenever he ran saw that his father is actually a huge disappointment like a really really just bad person and um then he sees johnny i mean at that moment just it was amazing it was really really awesome so yeah it really came together overall even though i thought it dragged a little bit i think and in, in the end it really was worth it to just have those mexico scenes i thought it was really cool besides that i, I am a latin speaking spanish speaker and everything so i really just like that uh, like around one third of the first two episodes were in spanish i thought that was super cool and super fun um i was like yeah spanish i really like the presentation that they showed with those scenes so that was really really awesome personally speaking uh, I like I recognize the candy and the Mexican cokes. I mean that was really awesome. So yeah, really nice to see. And like I also said, Robbie's and Johnny's friendship during that trip was really awesome. Did we just got to see how they bonded together? And I really just like that. I really let, think that that relationship finally being solved instead of going on circles really elevated both characters, but Robbie and Johnny to be more mature. And I and I really liked that about the relationship. I thought it was just really awesome to see, especially at the end of season four where they, they really had a, a really strong ending scene together. I think the fact that now they're kind of working together and they sure they have some growing pains, but besides that, they really are working together really nicely, um, cracking jokes and everything. I mean, I thought it was just really awesome to see. And the fact that Robbie, you know, respects that Johnny has so much love for Miguel and everything, I thought it also came in together really well. So overall, I thought that that whole Mexico storyline really worked for me. So I thought it was a really nice, strong start for the season, especially for in the second episode. It just really, really worked. Um, other things from the first two episodes, we saw Chosen finally come into Larissa's life and everything. And I think Chosen in general for the season was a really nice, strong addition. I thought he was really cool. I think he brought a lot of energy that Johnny used to bring to the show, but because Johnny's a lot more of a calm character now, um, I think Chosen ended up bringing more of aggressiveness than Johnny in this season. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they made that choice. I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and the fact that you know Daniel really likes Chosen and they, they're working together now against Silver and how Chosen is a lot more aggressive and he's willing to get his sense a lot more dirty than Daniel, I think that's really, really interesting, and you really do feel like Chosen is a huge threat, especially in episode two. So you know how he infiltrates uh, the Terry Silver um, Cobra Kai dojo, and then in episode two, Terry Silver finds out. Which, by the way, Terry Silver is just so smart. But anyways, whenever he finds out, and then all the he sends all the senseis to fight him, and then whoever takes him down gets a job, and then he beats the crap out of all of them. I mean, that was just a really cool scene, and you really feel like, whoa, Chosen is definitely a guy you don't want to mess with. He's a straight up threat. So yeah, that's really, really awesome. However, I do feel like because the end of season four was kind of like if you lose a tournament, you have to close down your dojo. It kind of kind of went a little bit slow during the Daniel side of the story for the first two episodes because, you know, he had to close down the dojo and everything. And it just felt like he was, it was just there to kind of make the plans. But I don't know. He just didn't feel that useful. You know what I mean? And he wasn't very likable either within the first like four or episodes. I think he was very unlikable. Like I get that Tercer was missing his mind and he was really making him go insane. But besides that, I just didn't feel like he was very likable, um, which is why I actually really appreciated the, the storyline that they gave Amanda where he she had to kind of understand why Daniel was so paranoid and everything about Terry Silver. And I think that really helped the audience itself understand that because before that, I think if they hadn't done that storyline, then it would have come out as very unlikable during the season. So I really like they gave Amanda that storyline where we really do understand why uh, Daniel is so traumatized and so paranoid about Terry Silver. Really nice storyline from the writers to add that in. Really nice move. But yeah. Um, so yeah, the storyline that hit for Daniel in the start of the season, I thought it was okay. I thought Johnny's scenes with Ravi and Miguel's storyline was a lot more interesting. Um, and another storyline that I was also super, super curious to see right coming off season four, because season four that gave them a lot more character development, was Tori. 
Natori was a character that they gave a lot more character development during the season, season four, like a lot more character development, like to the point where in that tournament I wanted Tori to win, you know what I mean? So that really made a huge shift for me. Um, and I was just really curious to see what was going to happen next to her after she found out that uh, Terry Terry basically paid for her to win. Um, and it, it did not as a point. I think that her storyline really went somewhere this season, starting with the start of the season where she was really kind of mixed on herself. She didn't really know what to do. Um, and then you see that she picks to stay in Cobra Kai. And I'm like, okay, interesting choice. And then, you know, she, she kind of, like, breaks up with Robbie a little bit. Or Robbie breaks up with her because she's still in Cobra Kai. And I was like, okay, that's really interesting. But I, then you get the process in episode 5 where you realize, oh, she's only in Cobra Kai because she wants to work with, because uh, she's working with Grease to take down Terry Silver. And it was, like, this super interesting thing. I was like, oh, it's, like, a complete plot twist to her character. Because I really thought I would just put in the character backwards. I was like, come on, we're just taking this character backwards and it's just getting kind of annoying. And then, boom, you get that plot twist and it just all makes sense and you really start to feel, like, the tragedy of Tori and how much she's taking a hit for the team to kind of, like, try to take down Terry Silver. I thought that was really, really interesting. And I think it's also really interesting that you really did see that Tori and Grease, really, they have a really, like, um, interesting relationship together. Like, I think Chris really did look out for her a lot, and Tori really saw that, and they really bonded over that. So, I think that was really awesome that they used to saw them being together and everything. So, that was really cool. Um, but yeah, Tori, I think, was one of the most interesting players this season. And it's not just because of that, because of her spy espionage on Cobra Kai, but also because of uh, Devin. She built a relationship with this character that we saw last season being Cobra Kai. I mean, in Eagle Fang, now turned to Cobra Kai, um, Devin. And I think it was really interesting that Tori really bonded with her, kind of similar to how um, Robbie bonded with uh, Keen or Kenny. Uh, it was really interesting that how Tori in this season bonded with Devin, and she was really basically her mentor through Cobra Kai. And it was really interesting that she didn't, she teach her to not go full on evil. She was really trying to hold her back from going to full on Cobra Kai. And ultimately it worked, and it was just really awesome to see how she could try to interact and really try her best, um, even though things were getting out of her hand. And I just really found that her character really interesting because I, I could really feel that she was basically against the corner like she really was on the losing streak like she really couldn't do anything so yeah that's really awesome uh, I'm gonna talk more about her in a different video where I'm gonna rank all the characters for Cobra Kai season 5 um, but yeah I think that her storyline really worked whenever she had to go to the tournament at the end of the season and she had to fight Sam and then she just left to the point where she had to go come out to Sam and tell her that she that uh Sam technically won the tournament, and you know, I, th I think overall she just felt like a very tragic, tragic character throughout the season, and throughout the whole show to be honest, but throughout the season specifically, you really felt the tragedy of Tori, like she really is the character that takes on for the team and everything, so that was interesting. I love the scene where Sam walks into her house and you see kind of like, oh, uh, the whole house is a mess, the mom's in the in bedroom in the, like a hospital bed and everything. I mean, come on, that's just really awesome stuff for Tori, so yeah, character development for Tori this season was amazing, incredible, and Dev her and Devin's relationship was another really highlight of this season for me. Besides that, I really thought that the kind of um, rivalry that uh, the new sensei, the new girl sensei, Kim Daun. I really thought the relationship that they built, uh, or the enemy that uh, they built with Tor uh, Tori and uh, Devin against Kim Daun, uh, which is the new girl sensei, I thought that was really, really strong to build, and then it came out really really nice together in the final episode and you know i really felt like even Devin herself was really fighting her own inner battle about should i stay in cobra kai is this really the best for me is it the worst for me i mean it was really awesome like whenever tori was like i hadn't even thought about college and Devin was like well cobra kai would open so much doors and i'm like that is interesting you know there is something to win out of here and i thought it was just really interesting side to explore you know you really do explore the great era with this show and that's one of our favorite things about it and i really thought that it was great that they explored it with these two characters specifically and then like i said you got the rivalry with the new sen girl sensei who was an absolute menace in the season and i thought that the fighting at the end was just super awesome to just see them fight together against the new girl sensei i mean come on that was just such a fun amazing moment for me when i was watching the finale i was like yes this is amazing this, this is what i wanted to see so yeah that's pretty awesome now i already mentioned this a little bit earlier but wow was terry silver such an amazing villain um that was he was just incredible he was i think he's the best villain the show has ever had and it's because he's an absolute threat you know i think chris was an absolute threat but i think chris was more one note you know whereas i think terry silver is just like really smart in the way he does things and you really do get to see that throughout this season i was like dang terry silver is like an absolute absolute menace um and he, i think it was really a strong argument in the fact that he really believed in this legacy that he was leaving that he really wanted this Cobra kai to help kids because he helped him just like chris kind of believed that but he, i think we got a bit more explanation with that in terry silver and i have a theory about Terry Silver, and I think that he's honestly ill. I think he's gonna die no matter what, because we saw him like in the hospital whenever Johnny was there with uh, with uh, Carmen, and then he just walked in and he wasn't following her. So why was he in the hospital? I think he has a, kind of like a sick illness or something. I really think that I really hope that's the way that the, the show goes, because I think it's gonna add more layers to Terry Silver, and I think that's why he has, he's in such a rush to kind of like give these new kids the learnings that really helped him from being like this scrawny nobody likes kid uh, to like somebody that's really strong and really confident in himself being so yeah i really really think that's a really interesting inspiration of terry silver besides that he really does have like his a manipulation side he's like an amazing manipulator he related with tori kind of manipulating her to stay in cobra kai he did it with daniel a lot especially in episode four whenever he made him knock her down over the bonsai trees and everything and he really just 
did it with Kenny specifically. Like, wow, him and Kenny really built a really nice relationship. Um, that was really awesome. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I really, you know, I think every Jesse has kind of his own relationship with a student. Uh, you know, you have Daniel with uh, Sam and uh, to some point Ravi. You have Johnny with Miguel, obviously. You have Chris with Tori. I think uh, Terry Silver's student is very clearly Kenny. So I think it's really interesting. I think it's just really awesome. So yeah, I really like that. So overall, I think Terry Silver was really established as an absolute threat. That episode, whenever he just beat the crap out of Daniel, wow, what an amazing episode. And then when they get the rematch, I mean, that was super, super awesome. You know what I mean? And you really do feel the power of his money because his money, man, it really comes in handy so many times. And he has like no limits. Like whenever he burns on Mike, Bur Mike Barnes' um, furniture store. Whenever he comes out in the shower scene and he has like the voicemail on it. I mean, come on, that was super awesome. He's just an absolute threat. And the actor played him um, so, so well. I, I can't remember his name right now, but the actor played him really, really well. I think it's just really, really awesome. So overall, I think Terry Silver really came together in the season really nicely to the finale. Um, specifically, whenever he was fighting Chosen and he was like, you attacked me in my own house. And you really felt the insanity of this character in that final episode. Like, he was truly insane and I thought it was super awesome. Even that scene whenever he brings out like the stone and he makes Tori kind of punch it. I mean, come on, that was like such a Karate Kid uh, three callback that really worked for me. So yeah, you really still see that Terry was an insane character, but he has like his gray side. He's not just a oh he's evil and that's it. No, he has his gray side, and I think it's just really awesome. And you see the perks to working with him. You saw somebody be from Yagi to betray them. You saw Stingray why he works with Terry Silver. There's so many perks to him. So he does have a lot of perks. And overall, I just think Terry Silver was a really smart guy that really added a whole other layer of threat to this show. Um, and I think it's just awesome. The, all the fights that he had as well, like I mentioned, they were really awesome. Especially the final episode, fighting a Chosen. Come on, that was awesome. With the sword and everything, that was so awesome. And then obviously at the end with Daniel, come on, that was awesome. And whenever he was like, these people broke into my house. They're the insane ones. I mean, come on, with all the blood on him and the eyes and his hair is all messed up. I mean, that was just amazing. The right there, kudos to that. It was just really awesome. All right, moving on from Terry, because I'm going to be wasting too much time in this video, so let's keep moving on, because it's not going to be super long. And that's going to be Johnny's story arc to becoming a new father. I really like the storyline. I really like how he finally got over how he messed up so bad with Robbie and how he decided to improve on it. I love that whole episode where he's dedicated to fixing his house. I mean, that was just really awesome. And then whenever he becomes an Uber driver, he talks to that guy in the pawn shop, and he's like, it's not about liking the job. It's about having no time to spend with your family and while still being able to provide for them. I mean, come on. That was really, really just awesome stuff. Um, all the stuff that he kind of, like, uh, really improved them was, like, now he's the bigger man you know whenever daniel came on and he was like trying to fight him he was like no uh, i'm not i'm not gonna fight you like what's wrong with you i'm putting my life together even you know robbie's mom was like wow you're truly a changed man and it just shows on how truly this season uh, really developed johnny in general as a character so johnny has so much character development in the season and i really love that and i think this season specifically is the best season for johnny uh, and i think it really helped this season out um because i really think this father storyline well at first i didn't really know if it was gonna work out or not i was like yeah it absolutely worked out i think it was amazing uh and you still he's see him be a great father to robbie seem be a great father to miguel seem to make great advice and everything so johnny Amazing highlight of this season. Now, another thing that I really love that this show, uh, this season specifically built up was the rivalry between Hawk and Kenny, which is something I wasn't really expecting, but they actually ended up being some pretty nice rivals. You know, you saw they built up in the park whenever they were just like fighting each other again and everything. I was like, oh, that's really interesting. Uh, and I was like, interesting. I sense like a rivalry here. And I just kept fighting and fighting and fighting until like the episode eight, whenever they're like the rivals of the of the match, whenever like uh, Kenny kind of silver, silver bullets him. I think that's what the movie was called. I mean, I thought that was really awesome stuff. So I, I really liked that a lot. I was like, wow, I did not expect that rivalry to be built up at all, but I think it really worked out. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, another thing talking about the silver bullet is that I love the new kind of mythology that they kind of added to this layer of the show going on from like uh, Terry Silver's like um, teaching and everything and how the new sensei has it don't the teachings and everything and how they want to pass it to this new legacy that's just really really awesome so i think that was really awesome i think that I re uh, and, and with this mythology it wasn't just him it was more chosen as well he had a lot more mythology to the show and you know you had you saw the new terry silver moves like the silver bullet like i just mentioned which i think added more dimensions so i really like they expanded this karate universe to really have more layers and like you know they were talking about how it was during the korean war not the second not world war ii and like they kind of give you history on it and all that type of stuff i just thought it really worked and i was like that's really awesome we should learn more about that because that's pretty cool so yeah that was pretty awesome um another thing that i really like was uh just john Johnny, LaRusso, and Chosen together. Like I said, they're both really aggressive and everything. And I think that they kind of use Chosen to kind of keep their aggressiveness now that Johnny's calmed down. But whenever they really came together, wow, it was just an amazing, just adrenaline scene every time they were together. And it was just awesome. And then you add Daniel to that. And I mean, come on, you just add more layers to it. And then you add Mike Barnes, and it just becomes a fan made dream. Like it's just super awesome to just seen together. Full on fan service, but the good fan service. So yeah, I think it, was, it just worked really, really awesome. And the last positive I can say is that I think the overall season came together really, really well. I think the best thing that the show can do is that it really delivers on its finales, which are as many shows, especially MCU shows lately, they have not delivered in the finales at all. I think the finales probably 
been some of the worst episodes. I think this one really delivered on its finale, bringing the whole season together and everything. And I was like, yep, that was an amazing finale. And I think it's just such a strong strength of this show. It's not just this season, but the whole show in general. And this season did not um, disappoint with the finale. It was really, really awesome. So yeah, that was really, just really, really nice and an amazing, huge positive. It just it was such an enjoyable finale. I mean, come on, Daniel versus Terry Silver rematch. Cool. Cobra Kai versus miyagi -Do in general, like the whole thing. Come on, that was super awesome. You know, you got crazy moments and everything. And you finally got to see like Robbie and Miguel finally fight together. And that was super awesome. Come on. I love to see Miguel, Robbie, and a hawk together. That's just super, super awesome. And then plus, it looks like we're going to get Sam and Tori together uh, with uh, those three characters in the next season. So like the five main characters. And it just sounds like super amazing to me. So yeah, I'm really excited to see that next season. I, I just can't wait. I think it's really going to be awesome to just have that whole team um group or friend group and it's gonna be super amazing so yeah that's my positives now going on to the mix side and the mix side is first of all i think the fight scenes were very mixed season where i felt like many fight scenes were like really edited or like just not that interesting you know i thought many fight scenes kind of came off as lean so just towards the start of the season i think a lot of a lot of fight scenes towards the start of the season came off as lean and then like the really important ones came out as pretty cool but it's just it's really interesting how they kind of did that mixture and i really didn't like it and i never felt like the fight scenes reached like the height of previous seasons like season two like the finale that though that fighting was amazing or like the finale of season three the fighting was amazing the finale of last season was really amazing um with the fighting talking choreography wise and the fight scenes in this season i didn't feel like they ever reached that height you know what i mean maybe like the maybe like chosen versus terry silver was like the closest we got to the to like peak region peak fight teams in cobra kai but besides that i just didn't feel that was the case with any other fights in the season so it was really interesting to just see kind of fights scenes going down i didn't think they were bad by any mean but i just didn't think that they were at the level of previous season so hopefully they can fix that for next season because i really want to see some really awesome uh fight teams for next season which is Honestly, truly believe that's going to be the last season because of the way that they wrapped almost every character story arc. Miguel and Robbie, Sam and Tori, Ter um, Johnny and Daniel, Chosen, Terry Silvers and Joe, Chris. Chris is the only one that they haven't wrapped yet, but besides that, most of the third character stories have been wrapped. I think it's going to be one final season of just like them coming together to truly be the best karate ever. Um, so yeah, I think that's really what the season's going to be about. So I think that season's going to be the last one, and I really hope that they make the best fighting for next season. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Now, another thing that I have in the mix area is going to be the betrayal from the miyagi -Do member, which I thought was okay. And I mean, I know they foreshadowed it with the guy having like uh, the cover catch shirt before and everything, you know, penis bread. But I thought it was okay. I just didn't feel very impactful or very important. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then it just kind of went to waste because anyways, everyone from Cobra switched to miyagi though anyways at the end. So I was like, okay, whatever, I guess. I, I just kind of went to waste. So that was really interesting. And then the next um, mixed thing is that the season was going like 100 miles per hour. Like what I mean by that, it was, it was going really, really fast. And then, bam, all of a sudden it was slowed down in one episode. Like incredibly slowed down. And then, bam, you go really fast again, which I really like the thing about going fast. But I did feel like we missed so many scenes, especially with Robbie or Daniel, which it goes more towards my negative side. But let's just start moving on to the negative side real quick. And this is going to be that I, I i did think that it just felt really weird that we missed so many scenes like where was the robbie and danny reunion conversation after they did that thing where was the robbie and sam reunion you know i thought we missed that conversation a lot i thought we missed like a conversation with miguel and robbie by, by themselves a lot more like a lot longer conversation i, I just felt like we missed a lot of conversations that we could have had that kind of we just didn't have in general and i was like okay you know tori and sam i think could have had a really way bigger conversation i, th I thought there was a lot of questions that could have been expanded a lot more and said we just got like the bare minimum because the season was really moving really really fast so that's interesting i, I found that really interesting but i wish we would have got more, more of those character moments that i think we're missing a little bit in this season now a couple of final negatives that i have this season was just that sam storyline i didn't really like the sam storyline especially with miguel i think it's just so weird play that they take breaks and they break up and this and that like we already had that going on like three times this in this show and everything and it's just like I, I'm really tired of it. I don't want to see this anymore. And I feel like the Sam storyline kind of already, we kind of already saw that, like in season three, kind of a little bit. I don't know. I just felt like it was, I felt like it was very redundant. And second of all, I just felt like many characters were just there for the sake of being there. Dimitri, for example, was just kind of there for the sake of being there. Um, so that's what interesting. They were just kind of there. So a lot of things that I grabbed also left out just the season. But I really like that they focus on other characters. So yeah, another thing also, just one quick final thing is that the season felt very unfocused. You never really know what you were building up to. Where I think season four really benefited from knowing that we had a tournament at the end and we had to build up two tournament we explored with these perspectives here you didn't really have that so it was kind of interesting that we didn't have a build up um to a certain big event and i think that that kind of hurt the season just a little bit 
And lastly, I felt like Mike Barnes was kind of wasted this season. You know, I really like him as a cameo. You know, I thought that it was really cool to see what he's done with his life afterwards and with the furniture store and everything. And then in the final episode, I thought it was cool how he came back. But besides that, I thought that he was really wasted. He could have had a way better arc in the early season, especially in the final episode where he just kind of like fought one guy, got punched out. And that was basically it for him. I just thought, eh, he was really wasted. Um, So especially as a Cobra Kai um, Karate Kid 3, I wasn't really, I never really saw that film until like really recently. So it's like, okay, whatever. I, I, I thought he was cool and like whenever he showed up, but I thought he was showed up very little bit. And I think that he did not do almost uh, in nearly enough in the scene to really be memorable for him to be like, oh, that was super awesome. You know, I thought he was okay, whatever. So yeah, that's really interesting. But besides that, I really thought it was a really strong season. Uh, comedy, as they speak, as always, I think comedy is really a strong for this show. Um, but overall, I think it's just the main really cool thing about the show is just explaining the different perspectives of the characters. And I think we're finally starting to get to a point where they're really bombing the characters and taking all the circles. You know, Robbie and Megar are finally talking. Johnny and Robbie are talking. Daniel and, and Johnny are talking. All types of, all these characters are finally kind of cutting over the crap and finally working together. And like I said, I really think the next season is going to be the last season. So yeah, really rooting for the last season to be the best season so far. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for my spoiler review, just because it's already really long and I'm going to run out of storage. So yeah, um, that'll be it for my spoiler review. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this spoiler review. It'll be very helpful. So please, please leave a like. As well, subscribe for all your content. I'm going to come up with a characters ranking video, a season ranking video, and maybe season six, things, perhaps, maybe whenever they announce it, because they haven't officially announced it. So we'll see whenever they officially announce it. I'll make a video about it. So yeah, make sure to subscribe for all the cover content coming very, very soon. As well, just make sure to comment down below with your own thoughts about Cover Content 5. What do you think? What was your favorite storyline? What was your least favorite storyline? Tell me that down in the comments. I'm very, very curious. Yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And this is your entertainment. Out.